Hi, I'm Athena Dinell, and I'm ready to get started. And there you have it, pan-seared mahi-mahi and shrimp, topped with a artichoke pepper relish, served with Creole corn, with a garlic, parmesan, and basil butter. Guess what I'm making tonight? Let's start with our corn first. In a bowl, we are going to combine the Creole seasoning and the garlic, parmesan, and basil butter. Once you combine that, mix them together. Once that is ready, go ahead and place your corn into each foil wrap. Top corn with your butter and Creole seasoning mix and then wrap. Now let's go ahead and wrap each piece. Once your corn is wrapped, go ahead and put your oven on 425 degrees. Bake about 25 to 30 minutes, turning halfway through. Now let's start with our relish. I've showed you previously how to roast peppers, so go ahead and get your peppers cut up, drizzle with olive oil, and put into the oven to roast. Once your peppers are roasted, go ahead and cut those up into small pieces, and then go ahead and cut up a artichoke or two to add to the relish. Now that your relish is complete and your corn is in the oven, let's go ahead and work on our seafood. In your pan, go ahead and add some olive oil. Once your seafood is ready, go ahead and season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. We are going to start with our mahi first. Once your seafood is in the pan, season the opposite sides. Cook for just a few minutes on each side and then flip. You don't want to overcook it. Once you get that browning on both sides, then go ahead and remove from the oil. Fish is done, so let's go ahead and do our shrimp next. I have a little bit of that butter Creole seasoning mix, so I am going to spread that on my mahi. Since that just came out of the skillet, that melts on there quite nicely. We are basically cooking the shrimp the same way we cook the fish, except for we are adding Creole seasoning. Shrimp are just about ready, corn should be ready, and we should be ready to start plating. Let's start with corn first, and then mahi, and then shrimp, and then relish. Pairs really well with Sauvignon Blanc. I hope you enjoy.